What is the Physician Payments Sunshine Act? The Physician Payments Sunshine Act was signed into law as part of the Affordable Care Act of 2010. This legislation requires all medical product manufacturers to report to the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services all financial relationships between themselves and physicians or teaching hospitals. Since 2013, over 11.5 million records have been disclosed, amounting to $8.4 billion. Prior to the Act's leg legislation, there had been significant con controversy surrounding physicians' conflicts of interest with medical product companies. One study from 2009 observed 84% of physicians with financial ties to medical industry. In the same year, the Medicare Payment Advisory Committee suggested in their annual report a greater need for transparency in order to better emphasize patient safety. As required by law, all medical product manufacturers must disclose physician financial relationships. The companies targeted are pharmaceutical and biologic manufacturers as well as medical device manufacturers. Furthermore, group purchasing organizations and physician-owned medical product distributors are also required to report. In turn, these organizations must disclose relationships with all licensed physicians. This includes MDs and DOs, dentists, podiatrists, optometrists, and chiropractors. Furthermore, relationships with teaching hospitals must also be reported. There are three major categories of financial relationships that companies must report. First are general payments. These include cash, consulting or speaker fees, reimbursed travel or meal payments, physician education material, grants, and charitable contributions. Second are physician ownership and investment relationships. These extend beyond the physician to his or her immediate family. Stock, royalties, and licensing agreements are all included. Third are research payments. In order to qualify, a payment must be subject to a bilateral written agreement and include a specific research protocol. All reimbursements for clinical trials fall under this category. Some financial relationships don't qualify as reportable. Examples are payments of less than $10, product samples, discounts, and educational materials for patients. If a manufacturer does not comply with these regulations, they are subject to fines between $1,000 and $10,000 per missed payment, or up to $100,000 if it is an intentional violation. Since its enactment, the Sunshine Act has generated various controversies amongst physicians, members of the medical industry, and health policymakers. For example, keeping up with this massive public database requires administ administrative funding to the tune of $180 million per year. Furthermore, delayed dispute resolution has led to widespread outcry from individual providers and professional organizations. Furthermore, there is limited data on the impact of this information on industry and physician behavior. It is still largely unknown whether this public reporting has any impact on clinical or research practices. Lastly, it is difficult to assess patients' interpretation of this information and, again, whether it has any meaningful effect. What this public data does provide, however, is an open representation of the relationship between physicians and industry members and allows us to make judgments on potential conflicts of interest. Of note, analysis of the 2015 neurosurgical data suggests a total payment amount of more than $99 million. It is recommended that physicians use the CMS Open Payments search tool to discover data about yourself, colleagues, and associated institutions. You can visit openpaymentsdata.cms.gov. Check and correlate your personal industry relationships at least once a year. Remember, you are not responsible for reporting these relationships, but if a discrepancy exists, you can submit a dispute through the CMS portal website. One can also use the open payments data for research purposes. The data are fully available for, available for download and analysis on the Open Payments website. 